this story is about a contractor who are hired to do a kitchen remodeling job. New floor, wall cabinets, and bank sink cabinets. He was incompetent and unprofessional. He was supposed to haul his trash away, but he ran but I ran an errand and he threw the trash over a fence down the hill in the backyard and found out two days later. Said he was finished, gave him the money, and I had to hire someone else to finish the job. He came back while the new contractor was there, and that is when the fireworks began. Yeah. Building department, you know, I do a lot of work for them. Yeah. And uh, they got yeah. this stuff. Yeah, come on in, man. You want me to look at everything? Come on in here. <laughs> I mean, I ain't think you coming back, man. Right, you know, when I'm no, no. talking on the phone. And I think it's co coming back. Hey, he, hey, you said you fixed the pipe right back here, right? Fix the pipe? Right. Well, I insulated the pipe. All right, because he said the water ain't coming up. On the uh, cold side. <laughs> Oh, on the cold side. On the hot side, it's coming out. Well, yeah. Uh, last time I was here, I cut them and checked them, and they were both of them were coming out. That's why I think the cold's froze. This could be. Yeah. Yeah, from down in the basement, right? Well, I looked down there. Uh, you see I, uh, yeah, but <coughs> the way it goes down, uh -huh. I think because uh, the way it goes down, it goes to side by side this way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, Right here, they go down and go back this way. Right. Yeah. 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 So I think it's frozen up Probably back there. outside because that's the cold wall. Right. Yeah. Cause yeah. Cause you didn't put this back together, man. Where? This. You didn't tell me. This. I, I, you remember we were. You, you didn't tell me that. You said the job hold was on, over with, and I gave you the money. Oh, hold on. Hold on <laughs> Come hold on. on. Remember we were talking about uh, she wanted. No, nah, but you never told me nothing about it. Well, I explained. That you before. said the job. I'll take you. I, you gonna talk to me, man? You tell you talk. You said you're supposed to be back. Talk to you this morning. You, you said you're supposed to come out. I ain't talk to you, man. You ain't call me, man. Here's your number right here. You didn't call me, no, man. No, you called me this morning. I, you, didn't, you didn't tell me nothing. I said I was in a meeting. You, you ain't tell me nothing. Yeah, that was yesterday, man. I called you this morning. That's what I just you, said. You go over here Sunday morning, man. You didn't show up. I called you. I think that was you in a meeting and you ain't going to come back. I didn't tell you I wouldn't come back. I, I mean, I don't know, man. Why, why would I go get somebody else if I didn't think you was coming back? Then you didn't even call and say you was coming over. What do you want me you to do? You didn't even call, man. You have to keep going back and forth with this. What do you want me to do? You want me go to... Go ahead on. Right. Get the hell on out of here, man. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, I got it. Yeah. He cut the counter too short. The counter top. Look at that space in between the counter in the stove. Hey. <laughs> Side in the in the corners of the field. The moral of this story is a quote from the Reverend Martin Luther King. Whatever your life work is, do it well. Whether you are a garbage man, a painter, a banker, a carpenter, or a sweet sleeper, do it as Michelangelo would do a painting, as a Beethoven composed music or as Shakespeare wrote poetry and my dad J.W. Jones would do his commentary. Take pride in your work so people can pause and one day say there lived a great person who did their job well. You have a nice evening.